Today I'd like to continue this conversation we've been having for the last few weeks about the divine actually being us and we being that which we have been looking for. He was beginning to see heaven on earth because he chose to look for it. And if he's like me, sometimes it's serendipity and sometimes you really have to work at it. But when we do look, at this world as though it were a an amazing thing and that can be everything from the very mundane your kitchen your backyard your neighbor i think we begin to find that the kingdom of heaven is spread among us and as i change the way i see the world i change the way i see myself so you could look upon the world as though you were looking upon heaven rather than upon a conglomeration of accidents or random events or just the outcrop of evolution. You could look upon it as though it were mystical or magical and have that experience and realize that you are more than DNA. You are more than flesh and blood and brains and your education and your background. You are something magical, perhaps even heavenly, perhaps even divine. But we practice by looking out there on the world and claiming to see all of it as though it was holy. We're looking past the very thing we are looking for. And it is not the thing that we're need to change. It is the way we look that we need to change. And we need to treat this world as though it were a magical experience, a miracle, that we are among holy people, that the holy are among us, not as kings and people in fancy robes, perhaps in turbans or speak with an accent, but everyone, as Jesus said himself, are ye not gods? Is it not written that ye are gods? That's what he's saying. The Father and I are one, and I and you are one. And so this oneness between you and divinity is as simple as an equation of one equals one equals one, that we and everyone we see, even those people, even those crummy old people over there, they are holy. And being holy, being divine, puts us in communion with them and we with the divine itself, herself, himself. So let us contemplate this deep, deep idea that we are not supposed to be thought of just as the outer skin and the visible out, uh, accoutrements of our life. Rather, we are deeper than that. There is something that only eyes that are looking for the kingdom of heaven can see. We begin to think we're the ego, the I. We, we believe that we're the body and the mind, and that we are defined by the things we have or have done and by the words that we have said and, and the ideas that we hold to be true, we think that's who we are. But in essence, we are something deeper. And though this ego that we have claimed to be ourselves causes us to want some things and hate other things, to be a needy of some things and to despise other things, and it has caused us to be afraid of dying. Even all of that has happened. We are still underneath all that as this life force that causes our ego to come into existence. We are this, that deeper than soul even. We are that spirit that is one with everything. And if we could get that, I think it would be much easier to drop our foibles and to be able to be a clear representation of the divine. If we don't see the divine in others, most likely we'll find a way to judge them. And if we can find the 
deeper wisdom in us to look and see that divinity within each other, I think we ha would be on the road to peace and harmony. I think we would be on the road to enlightenment. I think we would be on the road to happiness. So let us do our best. Let's practice this week. Let's not let a day go by that we don't practice seeing the world as magical, as a miracle, and each other as holy. And when we speak, let's see if we can leave some of the tone of you must be a, the holy man in our voice. So we greet each other with respect, even if we disagree about the things that we hold in our minds or in our practices. But we begin to see each other as the representation of that which we have always been seeking and always wanting to know. May this be a week in which the magic appears and you return to your natural state as a holy person. Namaste.